Hey guys, I'm interrupting <coughs> Insetic before you can even say hi. <laughs> okay. I don't do that enough. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no. That's all the commentary needed. Okay, see you guys later. Yeah, bye. Alright, now, um... Welcome back to Yanni Cabalista City Skater. I'm Insetic. With me is Blank Tester. Hey. We're picking the next character, Mr. Honda. Aw, uh, yeah. And, you know, we've gone through the first four missions, so now it's time to head to the ruins and the canal. Oh boy. Alright, so they have finally found the Gawu base. Oh man. A after, I don't, I don't really know if you could say finally if there's only been five missions, but. Man, this plot. Yeah. Well, and in we the go. Gawu base is the Gawu overlord, King Gawu. Is he an overlord or a king? He's both. He's overlord. Oh, he's king. just at the end of pipes. <laughs> at the end of all these pipes. Okay. At the end of every single one. It seems a little strange. So is this game really five missions? There's more to it than that. Oh, okay. A little bit. You'll see. You'll see. But uh, this level is kind of unique in that it's like really linear. Like there's one big path. It's basically a gauntlet. Huh. You know, you've got one line to take, defeating the Gawu along the way between you and King Gawu. Huh. So if you fall down, do you have to go all the way back? Yeah. So probably just restart if you fall down. This yeah. level. <clears throat> This level isn't as bad when it comes to, like, time management as the previous one. I have to re-stress how much Prison Island was a big pile of shit. Um, but also, after watching the Prison Island video... It, yeah, there were parts where, if I went back and played it again, I'd probably do the level a little differently. Yeah. But still, like, you know, you guys could see everything I was saying. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's still pretty important to get the, uh, get the coins along the way. Oh shit. You know, to get extra time. So what happens when you fuck up? Like, this you guy? have to go, yeah, do you have to go... Well, I, I improvise. This guy's a regular dude. There's no toppers, so I can chip away at him. That's true. Yeah. The toppers showed up for that level, and then I think they're completely gone from this level. Really? Yeah. That seems odd. It, it, so they only show up for one level. It's, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know if they, I don't know if they set out to make a five-level game, or if they just hit like the worst time and budget constraints ever. Yeah, you know. This is the Gawu base. Well, well, it's it's the ruins, and the Gawu base is in the ruins. How is this ruins? This looks like a perfectly functional city. And canal. Though this is this the canal? Is, no, no, I, I don't know where it's going with that. I like that when he he falls down, yeah. his hat goes flying, and then he catches it when he gets back up. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, Mr. Honda is like this rich kid who, 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 who who's trying to convince everyone he's a magician. You see he shoots the cards out when he, uh, I see that. does tricks. But he's also, he's also balding, so. I think oh, he's, really? I think he's wearing a wig or something. Is that really part yeah, of the Yeah, that's really part of the manual. <laughs> We don't have the manual with us right now. That's cool. Yeah. He's balding. So now... So how old is he supposed to be? Uh, I think like teens to early 20s. He's balding at that age. Yeah, I'd be... It really sucks, yeah. I'd be embarrassed about that I'd too. be overcompensating, you know? Yeah. I got the magic dick. Yeah. 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 Um, and I also want to stress, because... Maybe in like video two, I tried to talk about you know some of the some of the ways to get extra points and didn't explain them very well. Uh huh. You know when when I do usually when I do tricks, if I just do them in a normal order, you could see in the top right they're all just grouped by themselves. But if I do a spin and then really quickly do a flip, you know they get like a white circle around them. You know, and that means you did kind of like a combination like that, flip, flip. and and that gives you more points because. Mm. So those are like inbuilt combinations. Inbuilt techniques, you know. They call it early flip when you flip like right after you start spinning. Hmm. Or there's something where you do like a complete 360 and then do a flip right when the spin ends. Hmm. Um, or just if you fl if you do a flip trick perfectly after another flip trick. Those are all ways to. So they're like com they're like combos. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that one's called the um, the drown. Yeah. You just drown. Yeah. Um, this but, game should have permadeath. Uh, I'm glad it doesn't. 
like like a straight up rogue like. Yeah, I'm glad it doesn't. It's got like randomized levels. Oh my god, that would be so terrible. I I wonder if there is a way you could make like a skateboarding game with randomized levels. Oh, rip. Just just make a game out of like the old Tony Hawk map editors, and you know. The game will randomly stick stuff together. It'll procedurally generate a new custom level. See, I think the the way I would do it to make it to make the levels work instead of just kind of like looking like one of my regular levels that we make for the for the special things where I yeah. do map level. Man, we haven't things. gotten to do that in a while. Yeah. What I would do if I was like programming the game, I would probably make it so it like before it even uh, generates the level, it like generates paths that it would like to it it puts pieces along so yeah. like you know like a network of of lines you could take through this level mm -hmm. and then it puts pieces so that it can follow those lines yeah i don't know how it would do elevation changes and things but yeah you know and then maybe just add rails procedurally generated to wind around the level yeah i mean the levels wouldn't look like a they wouldn't look like a, like, a, a, a place, really. They would look, you know, like, if it was supposed to be a foundry theme, you would put things in a logical order that a foundry would be found in. Yeah. But instead, this would be more like just kind of a, a collection of ramps and stuff. But I think it could be kind of fun. Yeah. If you did it correctly, you could also completely fuck it up. Yeah. Um... And I also want to address what I said about the combo system. Obviously, the combo system does help. I think on these dudes where you can chip away, it you are doing more damage as your combo level increases. But again, in the previous level with the toppers, it was way more importantly about what trick you did than right. the combo level. You know, once you're at the point where you have to do like a spin, triple flip grab, it doesn't. I. It. It doesn't matter if you're on combo level one or combo level six. Yeah. If you do like just a spin grab, they're not going to go down either way. Yeah. Um. Though one thing about this level that is kind of annoying is this is where you really need to uh, you know push at the right times to gain speed right before jumps because you've seen a lot of these obstacles where you actually can't clear them. Unless... Did you just do an 1800? Yes. Uh, you've seen a lot of these obstacles where you can't clear them unless you get a perfect push jump. And that's where, you know, not being able to push all the time or having to wait like a second between pushes is kind of annoying because yeah, with you the have to down on that, you yeah. have to get your timing from previous jumps and yeah. previous pushes down before you can even get to them. Yeah. And especially this room where you got to do basically perfect jumps to even get up to the guys and if you have to come back, like if you don't nail the absolutely perfect trick to hit all three of them, uh, you gotta go back up. You gotta go back up. You know, you, you saw me try to kind of game the system a little bit. Getting everything up at the same time. Yeah, or, or like going straight from the pipes over to one of the ramps, it didn't really work. So that's why it's important to collect coins, because suddenly you'll start wasting a lot of time right here at the end. And especially with the final boss, you know. Is he coming up? Yeah. Like, is that in this video? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, can't wait to see what the King Gawu looks like. Yeah, yeah, what do you think he looks like? I'm guessing he probably looks completely different than the other Gawu. Yeah, like, really, the yeah. Gawu looked very cute and cartoony, and he probably looks like Dead Series. <laughs> he probably looks like right, well, like a Skyrim enemy. And like a completely different art style. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, no. Damn it! Um, and also I watching money right now. watching back my previous video, I know I mentioned during it, but I just have to stress, like, y you know, when you get stressed in this game, you lose the rhythm that the game wants you to have, and that's when you start fucking up your tricks and whatever. Yeah, you know, like but when you have good, good, like, like you know, whatever, 25-20. Like, the boss of... Uh, Prison Island, he actually... I think he is a topper the entire time. Oh. Just, I was doing great tricks. I rewatched the video. I did great tricks and knocked him to a sliver of health. And then suddenly, for the life of me, I couldn't put a trick together for like a whole minute. Like, I don't know. I just choked up and... Uh, 
So here's the final boss, and nah, it's just a Gawu. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I was really hoping he'd be like he'd have like this giant like yeah. sword and shield to be covered and, in armor uh, and shit. Huh? What's this? It looks like a weird timer has appeared on the bottom right of the screen. It, that totally matches the art style of the game. Yeah, it it, it almost could... seems like it was added in for a specific reason, of which will become prevalent over like the next I shit you not like six minutes. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, like, the timer was gonna stop because you killed him in 47 seconds. No. So, the thing about this guy is he flies around the outside of the bowl yeah. where you can't see him, where you can't see where he is. So, you kind wow, of. Wow, that was just a dude laughing. You kind of have to get, like, lucky to, to get in his line of sight. Yeah, you have to watch Lucky Star to get into his <laughs> line of sight. Um, but you notice that his health bar down there is changing colors. Oh. And that's sort of. The gimmick of this guy, he'll, you know, he, he starts out white, you know, su susceptible to everything, but he'll change to be, you know, prevalent towards flips or spins or grabs. Does he ever turn into a topper? No. Oh my god. It's just, he does the colors thing. What is which, happening? Why are you failing? I don't know! The bowl, the bowl gives me so much more shit in actually landing back in it. Like there, okay. Yeah, like, but, you landed way earlier than I would have expected. But then when you don't land, for some reason, you just like fall way deep in the bowl and then suddenly land on your face. I, I've i been fighting him for a minute and a half and I finally hit him with something. Oh my god, I'm not. look at how little health there is. Yeah. Take well, me. that's because I only did like a flip to a grab, you know? But again, I can't predict when I'm actually going to get him. Like, I think I'm going to hit him harder this time. Yeah. Yeah. That's... This boss would be manageable if you actually knew where he was. Yeah, if there was like an arrow, or you can clearly see, you can see a shadow, but, you, the, but there's a shadow for everything. I think there's, yeah, there's multiple shadows. There's shadows for the crates that he's keeping up, probably to, probably to confuse you. Yeah, but is that really necessary? So, like, I kind of had a system where, like, if I jumped up and didn't find him, I'd try to fix my line and, you know, maybe ride over to that to, an, you know, like 60 degrees and check or whatever. Just, so that didn't do, work. I guess, what? do the opposite of whatever I did, because this is probably the slowest fucking fight of him you'll ever see. I, I don't know, what else can I say, you know? So, you can't ride on the outside and, like, cut cut over the bowl. You have to be in the bowl. I think to, to get into his line of sight, you have to jump from the bowl. That's dumb. Strangely enough, the bombs aren't actually that much of a problem. They hit me like twice in a row, but I, I think I avoid them the rest of the fight. Huh. Just, you know, I walked in there with like 11 minutes on my on, on my clock, and Jeez. I'm using up quite a lot of it. Yeah, I never really understood this, like, the idea that like a final boss, or even just boss fights in general, should be really long fights. I get the idea of making them hard fights. But if by hard you just mean lots of health, then I'm not sure I think that's such a good thing. I don't think they intended this to be a long fight. You don't think so? Or or at least not not this troublesome. I, I don't know, I feel like this was a mistake. Yeah. Just like all of the tricking stuff not meshing well with itself, you know. Yeah. This feels like a mistake, if I can be honest. So now does he move to a new... Or at least part mistake. Does he move to a new, like, pattern or something? No. Oh. No, he does that because he turned into a flip dude and I didn't do a flip. Oh. He shit talks you when you don't do the trick he wants. Then again, you just got him and he went, Yeah! Well, yeah. They're getting excited by six skateboarding tricks. That's true. I re still don't get what... Remember, so, you're not injuring them. You're exciting them so much they teleport back home. Why the hell are we doing that, though? They are not hurting anybody. Maybe... Maybe well, maybe we're trying to be really nice to them. Maybe in the... I don't know, Yanya Kabbalista pre-game manga or whatever, <laughs> there were full-color splash pages of the Gawu... You know, massacring people, ripping humans apart and eating their organs or whatever. Yeah. I mean, they are a little bit chubby. Yeah, yeah. You cut them open. That's human meat in there. Mm -hmm. They're literally bags of human meat. It's really scary, honestly. Yeah. Oh man. 
Come on, let's finish this guy. Yeah. Let's finish the Why'd fight. Why did the music disappear? <laughs> it reached the end of its loop. I think it's going to start what, up again. What loop? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Well, it reached the end of its track. So why didn't they cut that earlier? <laughs> maybe it they fades. Maybe they silence. didn't expect anyone to take this long. But yeah, seriously, whatever I'm doing to try to, you know, fix where my pattern is to get him, do the opposite, I guess, because it's only working, like, one fifteenth of the time. Yeah, this is a new low for Insetic 47. Yeah. yeah. Strangely enough, I wasn't, like, mad during this. I'm not gonna cut it close on time. I was just annoyed. Bored. I was bored, yeah, I was annoyed and bored, because all I could do was try to guess where he was, and... Then bust a trick. Yeah, it's... And that's exactly my problem with, uh... Yeah. With people trying to make boss fights really long. Oh, but this, we find the guy. Oh, him. here we go. What's he gonna do? Oh, uh, he's gonna... He's gonna wiggle. Oh wiggle, my wiggle. god! He released the souls of the humans. Oh, you know what those are? Those are his thetans. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Scientology was right. Right all along. <laughs> and the world was wrapped in a blinding light. Something's wrong. Oh no. Let me smell your <laughs> Still got an Something's A rank. Something's wrong. You got an A! Still still got an A rank. Hat. See, eight minutes was the top time. They expected if you were really good at this level, you could beat it in eight minutes. Which, if the... Excuse me. If the boss went down pretty easily, you could have... Because that was a six-minute boss fight. Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta right. have a boss fight that's way too long. So, you beat level five. And you might have noticed, if you were perceptive, that whenever I beat them, it would say, like, you know, the name of the level and also say front side. So now we've unlocked flip side. Oh, and we get to go back through the five missions, and the gameplay has kind of changed up a little bit. Really? Yeah. So we're actually halfway through the game. Is it improved? Um, is this like new game plus, or is it like a significantly different gameplay? Uh, it, it's different gameplay. Instead of kind of the Gawu showing up in waves, like there's like all of them on the level at once. And, and you can kind of go do it however you want. Kind of go do it however you want. That's cool. I yeah. like that better, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, you know, it, it prevents the levels from becoming 15-minute slog fests. Of course, Prison Island can still go suck a fat one, but you guys will see that in a couple episodes. Well, right, so yeah, that's only two-tenths of the game. Jo you know? Join us back uh, as we take on Flipside next time. Yeah.